I went, I looked at his body, he was really gone. Oh. moment talking about uh, Father Kennedy Katongo, uh, it's a thing that is very, very difficult for me, very heavy. I have known Kennedy since the mid or late 80s. We grew up together almost in the same neighborhood in Kawata. We went to the same parish, and so I know his family very well. And I've known him even to the time that he joined the, the missionary Oblates. And uh, he embraced for all of us a, a vibrant and a hopeful future. Uh, he, was, uh, he spoke for all of us in terms of uh, being hopeful, being joyful. I was really impressed by uh, the solidity of his uh, commitment to justice and peace and uh, the generosity with which he was uh, trying to connect and uh, to uh, be wherever issues of justice uh, were discussed. So he was really a significant witness in our midst of this uh, dimension of our mission. So. I'm really uh, sorry that we lose such a, a man of quality, but... Très bon ami, très dédié aux questions de justice, de paix, d'intégrité de la création et surtout essayer de voir les façons d'aider les plus pauvres dans notre monde. Kennedy Katongo and I collaborated very closely in the OMI JPIC general service in the congregation. I had the opportunity many times to witness his service, the characteristics that he had in this ministry in the congregation. Everything he did, I think, uh, was full of joy, generosity, lots of energy, extremely filled with enthusiasm when he talked about uh, JPIC in the world and with the, within the Oblate congregation. Myself and a couple of others from the U.S. Council were visiting Zambia. And when we got to Lukulu, Father Kennedy, knowing it was a big holiday for us from the States, Thanksgiving, he had imported turkeys and other uh, foods that we would have had at home. And um, as a surprise and as a sign of his tremendous hospitality, he cooked the meal himself and prepared it for us, and my mother couldn't have done a better job. Um, he's a man that uh, uh, I felt radiated joy, um, and I'm very thankful for that moment, for that time that we spent with him.
He was genuinely happy. He was deeply passionate about the Oblates and deeply passionate about justice and peace and the church at large. We will miss him greatly. My involvement in JPIC brought me to Rome uh, three years ago and it's here in Rome that I met Father Kennedy for the first time. In Father Kennedy I found the passion for this ministry of JPIC uh, and he always wanted to go to Asia to see what some of our men are doing in the field of JPIC and in Hong Kong uh, we got him to facilitate uh, the conference on migrants and refugees and he was happy to meet uh, all the major superiors of AORC. I am sure uh, he will be with us in spirit as we continue uh, this journey. big man with a big heart and very good nature. One time I had the privilege of going to Zambia. He was pastor at a very remote, huge parish in Lukulu and was so welcoming and drove us out on a dirt road of over a hundred miles with a tremendous spirit. And as part of that journey, he brought us to a national park, Kafue, and on a river in a small boat, and a big crocodile came near us. But he not only didn't show any fear, he was fascinated because he was so into integrity of creation, being head of JPEG. He was so in love with God's nature. So while the big crocodile scared me, for him, he was fascinated. Whenever I was with him in Rome, I was there for a few months. Uh, occasionally I would try to tease him and I never succeeded in getting him upset. Every time I would tease him about something, he responded, I love you Nicholas, you're my brother. He was really a significant witness in our midst. He was just a man of peace and a man with a great joy. He may pray for us as we await to, to join him in the kingdom of God one time.